Every day, thousands of videos are uploaded to the internet. What drives some people to turn the camera on themselves and reveal so much about their lives? I decided to find out. Welcome to Vlog This. Hi, I'm Jason. I'm Eric. And I'm Eddie, and we're part of the Jubilee Projects. What is a Jubilee Project? We're a nonprofit uh, film production group, and we exist to tell stories and inspire change. And we want to tell stories, whether through narrative short films, uh, mini documentaries, even PSAs, um, and really use the medium of video to inspire uh, change and action and awareness. For every Jubilee Project fundraising video, each view helps raise money for a cause. The response has been tremendous. We were chosen as one of this year's YouTube Do Gooder Nonprofit Video Award finalists. This has been an incredible journey, and we believe this is just the beginning. Who failed the group? Uh, well, Jason was the one who uh, started Jubilee Project um, back in 2010 after the Haiti earthquake. Um, you know, him and his friends, uh, as a response, decided to go busk to go sing and play guitar in the New York City subway. And if you ever heard him singing, that was a terrible, terrible idea. Terrible singer. Um, really bad. <laughs> but he did it anyways, uh, and people gave him money out of pity. So, <laughs> uh, to make him stop. <laughs> Uh, and he ended up raising uh, $80, $70, dollars, uh, $70 yeah. and then decided to put the video online. So we raised $85, one cent, and two euros. It was a great day overall, but unfortunately that still puts us a little bit short of our goal. But don't worry, there's still three ways that you can help. Number one, you can donate yourself at the link right here, and then your money will go straight to firstgiving.com and straight to save the children in Haiti. Number two, you can spread this video to as many of your friends as possible because I'm going to pledge to pay one penny for every view of this video watched. That's right, so 100 views will be $1, 10,000 views will be $10, etc. If we happen to get into the millions of views, uh, we'll see if Mama and Papa Lee will be willing to finance it. In a week, raised about uh, seven, eight hundred dollars mm -hmm. um, and that was really the beginning of uh, having this glimpse that you know videos can actually do some good in this world and then shortly after Eddie and I joined allow us to introduce ourselves we are the Jubilee project our mission is to make videos for a good cause our vision is to create entertaining videos that will empower enable and inspire others to do good as well in eight months, we have created 17 videos, received 21,000 views, and raised over $3,000 from nonprofit organizations. The Jubilee Project is a simple idea involving three guys and one camera, but has become a cause much greater than ourselves. And we'd love for you to join us. Hey guys, it's me, Jason, with the Jubilee Project, and this is my brother, Eddie. How's it going, guys? And it's Friday night, and we're getting ready to go to bed because tomorrow's the big day. Big day tomorrow. We're going to be running the 5K, which translates to about 3.1 miles. That's right. Here are our, our numbers. Numbers. Hey guys, this is Eric from the Jubilee Project. Um, we weren't planning on releasing a video, but as you know, a massive earthquake of magnitude 8.9 hit Japan on Friday. The Jubilee Project felt compelled to respond, and we were hoping that you can join us. First, please help us keep Japan in your thoughts and your prayers. Second, we are releasing a video in the next day called Top Chef. For every view that this video gets on our channel, the Jubilee Project will be donating a penny to World Vision uh, for providing things like uh, life-saving food and water for Japan. All three of us had our full-time jobs at the time. This was around 2010. And, you know, Jason was in business, Eric was at med school, and I was in politics. And so we never really saw ourselves pursuing this as a full-time thing. Um, we always saw making videos as a hobby and we just played around with it, had some fun and just kind of used YouTube as a medium to share stories with our friends and then love language kind of changed everything. It's the video that we made in 2010 um, and it's a very simple story but one that really kind of got a lot of people excited and I think it's because it's a story about love, it's a story about unconditional love and it's a story that we use to help raise awareness for kids with disabilities.
Two years ago, we made a video about love. Our message was simple. No matter who you are, what you look like, or what you've been through, you are beautiful. This video inspired hundreds of people to create countless variations of this film. Because of you, Love Language has supported thousands of people who suffer from disabilities and raised $2,500 for the American Society for Deaf Children. You know, Love Language is a story about a girl who has um, a hearing impairment and the, we got an email from a mom who saw the video and she was impacted by it because she adopted five kids and one of the daughters that she adopted happened to be deaf and when her daughter saw this film she told her mom that she finally felt beautiful and she felt known and accepted and we were able to sort of see that email as um, an inspiration for us to keep on going and doing what we're doing because if we're able to make that impact in, in this girl's life, we felt like, why, why should we stop here? Let's just keep on making more. So we're gonna break this down into three different parts. So the first part we do first, and we're going to go. None of you are from film school or anything like no, that? No, no. Uh, if you watch our early videos, you'll, you'll see that. <laughs> because they're so bad. Along the way, I think we've learned a lot through trial and error. Like this. But I kind of need to be right where her head is, I think. Yeah. So, <laughs> let's see what happens. You ready? Oh, you're going. <laughs> yeah. Your crew was how big? Um, so the, our crew at first was just the three of us. And often we were actually in the films as well. So we were just kind of ragtag, strapping everything together. It shows that even without great production quality or like we had a crew of two or three people, you can still make really inspiring and really compelling films. Hi, I'm Eddie. I'm Eric. And I'm Jason. Over the last two years, we have been fortunate to pursue this passion project. With your love and support, we have produced 70 videos, raised over $30,000 for nonprofits around the world, and garnered over 4 million views on our videos. This next year, we'll be making a film to help end AIDS. Yep, that's right. We want to create a film that will spark the end of an epidemic. The truth is, we're close. The United Nations estimates that with the proper funding and support, we can have an AIDS-free generation of children by 2015. How do you decide which charity or, or, or cause do you feel like Helping. Generally, there are issues that we are passionate about or uh, groups that reach out to us. Now we're actually finding that we're getting enough traction on YouTube and in that digital space that nonprofits are coming to us and actually hiring us or working with us, uh, giving us budgets for films, which is incredible because even two or three years ago, I think a lot of nonprofit organizations didn't understand or recognize the importance or value of, of social media. We partnered with an organization called Hep B Free to raise awareness for Hepatitis B, a disease that disproportionately affects 1 out of 10 Asian Americans and Pacific Islanders. We're really excited about this video because we're going to be partnering with an amazing organization called uh, Service... Services for the Underserved. That's right, Services for the Underserved. We're so excited because we're collaborating with Giveology for an amazing event called Make Your Mark. And we've got a map behind us, and for every person who makes their mark on this map, we're going to be donating money for uh, a particular cause where they've made their mark. The Jeremy Lin Foundation mm -hmm. approached us to do a couple films with them. 
Uh, we ended up flying out to Houston to make a couple PSAs with the groups that uh, the foundation was supporting. We're at an elementary school right now uh, that's about five minutes away from Jeremy's house, and this is where he comes to practice during the summers. I just want to make. Oh my gosh. Oh, you're right. You're right. All right, well, let's. Sorry. It's all good. 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 It's well, you're young. You're, you're gonna keep growing. You got it. You got it. Nice. Things when you help other people, um, a lot of the time they help you back just as much, if not more, than you help them. So that's just what we want to convey to them. It's a wrap with Jeremy Lin for the last pick. Great to have him out here, man. You did a great job today. Thanks for having me. Shout out to the shout out to the little man right here. We've had the opportunity to work with a lot of large nonprofits and talk to them, and they're having a, a challenge in reaching out to young people and using social media. And we see ourselves serving as a liaison between young people and nonprofits, uh, where we help nonprofits share their stories to help inspire young people to make a difference in their communities. We feel really privileged that we get to tell this message through our short films, but also actually travel to colleges and have a lot of workshops and keynote speeches where we get to share this amazing message that you know we should be living for something much greater than ourselves and that doing good is contagious. Hey guys, this is Eric from the Jubilee Project. Earlier this summer, we made an announcement about our college tour, and today we're excited to tell you where we'll be going this fall. The Jubilee Project will be going to colleges around the nation, and we'll be showing some of our videos and discussing the use of social media for advocacy and to create social change. This is our Doing Good is Contagious tour, and we hope to see many of you there. Was there a similar organization that inspired you to do this, or was this just um, an original idea? We didn't really see that many folks doing this. So we were really excited because we feel like YouTube is such a powerful medium for this. And while you know entertaining and funny and cat videos are all great, um, it's such a good place to inspire young people and to do a lot of good. So we felt like a need to exist in this space. The YouTube community is actually pretty small and we've just had the opportunity to meet and just interact and become friends with a lot of great YouTube personalities. And um, everyone who we've asked to collaborate has always been really open to it. Five, six, seven, eight. What's up? Hey, I'm David Choi. I'm Dan from uh, After School Special. Hi, I'm Arden Cho. Hello, my name is Ryan Higa. Hi, this is Janice. I'm Sonia. We're JS Lee. We're Wong Fu Productions. We're actually, yeah. There's another person in Wong Fu Productions. His name is Wes. He's right here. Yeah. Joseph Vincent is my name. That's, who talks like that? No one's thou art. Okay. Do I sound crisp? <laughs> crisp as a cookie. Crisp as a cookie. Oh man, only one thing I could change about the world. Wow, that's a huge question. Mm. <laughs> I don't know. It's a serious question. This is a really serious question. <laughs> oh my gosh, there are so many things I would change. <laughs>
one thing about the world? Well, obviously world peace. No, really, world peace, yeah, that's what I want to change. One of the cool things about being in the space has been that we've got to collaborate with a lot of amazing YouTubers. Uh, it's because the YouTube space is pretty close-knit and we've got to collaborate with a lot of cool people, including folks like David Choi. This is David Choi. Nice. This is David Choi and then this is Anthony, the homeless man. Can you talk? Uh, advanced art, right? I've been, I've been studying art for some time now, so... I, 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 like think it, I think it pays off, man. I like to, you know, show my story through my drawings. Right. It's just how I envision it as, as an artist. <laughs> Dave's gonna busk for real. We're gonna see how much money he can actually raise. I'm gonna try to raise enough money to feed everybody on the pier. Nice. Otherwise, we're not gonna eat lunch today as a crew. No one's gonna eat lunch. It's all on you, David. It's a lot of pressure. I am it. You can't take this away. No, you can't take this away. Feel good today. You can't take this away. You can't take this away. A little over a year ago, uh, we decided to pursue Jubilee Project full time. Until today, We've never done a crazy thing in our whole life. My name is Eric, and I'm with my best friends, Jason and Eddie. This is how we do it at the Jubilee Project. We don't own mirrors, <laughs> so we have to change our closets or a home right now. Hey Jay, can you fix my tie? So we have to change on the street. So what are you up to do, Eddie? I'm gonna go say goodbye to the White House, to the President, tell him how proud I was to work for him, that I could invite my family out, and I thought, no, there's no better family than my Jubilee Project family. In 2010, we started Jubilee Project to make videos on YouTube. The more we made, the more we fell in love with making them. At the same time, we were stuck in unfulfilling lives, but it took us a while before we got enough courage to do something about it. That's when Jason left his job in consulting, Eddie left his job at the White House, and I left Harvard Medical School. But before we left, there was one more thing we had to do. We just met the President of the United States, told him that we were off to do Jubilee Project, full time that we were quitting our jobs and leaving our school. That was a once in a lifetime moment. It's That's good. bittersweet to be moving on from the White House, but we've got so much more that we're doing now. And we decided to leave and quit our jobs in school uh, to move out here. Uh, we packed all of our belongings into this tiny car and uh, drove from DC to Los Angeles. Actually, we first moved out to LA because Eric's family lives in LA. Yeah, all three of us lived with my parents when we first came out uh, and started making videos out of my house. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to Eric's crib. Um, if you come this way, it's, it's this this is what we call the uh, the office space. But before we take you inside, I just want to present you this mural of Eric here. Here's Eric when he was in high school. Oh, look at this, it's all preppy. Yeah, so Eddie left the White House. Eric was at Harvard Med School. I was in consulting, and we all left our jobs and decided, you know what, it's worth it. I'm sure your parents are very happy with that. Oh yeah, thrilled. <laughs> <laughs> No, but like honestly, at first they were very hesitant, and they still are. I mean, especially since you know, Jason and I are the only two kids that they, our parents have. And 
Eric is an only child, so you know they really feel like uh, you know this was kind of a big risk at first. But I think as they see our passion for it grow, and they see our love for storytelling, and they see the people that we're able to help and impact, they're coming around and giving us a lot more support. So your parents too. Uh, they're slowly coming around too. <laughs> <laughs>